Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Not too long ago, we did a video about the different ways people died on the battleship and uh, talked about how we didn't really know how many people have died over the years because we don't have a complete set of deck logs. Um, but that video prompted a number of questions, uh, and the link to that video is in the, discuss in the uh, comment section down below if you're interested, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but that video prompted a number of questions about, well, somebody dies on board, what do you do with the body? Today, we are in uh, one of the ship's freezers. And this is a series of spaces that uh, are huge below the, uh, the mess decks on an Iowa-class battleship inside of uh, the armor plating. So this is part of the ship's reserve of buoyancy. And honestly, we've been looking for an excuse to film down here for a while. I mean, we don't really have a, uh, a great linkage to this topic. Uh, so people have asked, where do they store the bodies? What do they do with the bodies? They just throw them overboard. Uh, so during World War II, and I would say in wartime in general, it's way more common to do a burial at sea um, when somebody dies on board. However, it doesn't seem like those sorts of ceremonies were performed after World War II on this ship. When uh, Robert Osterwind, our only combat fatality, is killed on board, um, his body is repatriated to the United States and he is buried uh, not too far from where he grew up uh, near Detroit, Michigan. The real game changer here seems to be helicopters because helicopters can transport anything, including bodies, to other forward bases. And then from there, it's relatively easy to ship things out. So post-World War II, when we've got helicopters, it seems like any casualties on board the ship are removed and um, then, then buried at home with their loved ones. So let's say uh, somebody dies on the ship, hypothetically, what happens? They will likely end up in sick bay, which is on third deck all the way forward. And uh, there may be an autopsy performed on board the ship. The ship would usually have two doctors on board. And I imagine the facilities there were sufficient to do that. Um, perhaps if foul play was suspected, um, and we do know of at least one murder on the ship, maybe that body was removed to a shoreside place, because at that point, anyone at the ship could be a suspect. You know, may, maybe there are situations where you remove the body and do the autopsy on shore. Um, I'm not sure what happened in our instance. I do not believe the ship had any sort of uh, preparing for burial sort of things like you might see in a funeral home, uh, all the chemicals and stuff that are used in that process. Um, preserving a body, I have heard of on older ships, preserving them in freezers, and that's our tenuous reason for filming down here. I've also heard uh, sailors talk about uh, scuttlebutt that was, there is a void space near the refrigeration plant that uh, was cold enough that they wouldn't store the bodies here with the food. They would store it in this void space. I'm not aware of any such void space that would have been of uh, a low temperature on Iowa class battleships. These refrigerators are pretty well insulated. Um, the doors down here are about six inches thick. And so it, you imagine that there's a ton of insulation in there. Uh, realistically, I suspect in most situations, the body is removed as quickly as possible and is not stored. In wartime, there is a barrel at sea, probably within 24 hours. And in peacetime, you can likely airlift the, the body back to shore. So all this has been talking about a, a ship's crew member dies on board. Sometimes uh, ships are used to perform burials at sea 
because former service members who have retired and lived lives and then passed away have requested uh, that either their bodies be uh, buried at sea or that their ashes be scattered from the ship. I suspect in the modern world, this is a far more common occurrence. Uh, and I know there is a system that you can request the local military base to do this. Um, I'm not sure if the family can be on board to watch it. It seems to be, yes, we have a ship that is sailing out into international waters and we can uh, do this as part of its normal duties. Um, and the ship's crew will form an honor guard and do it, but this is an active warship or Coast Guard cutter. So it's not something that the whole family can come out and do the viewing on board. In these instances, this would be a body that was either cremated or prepared and preserved at a morgue or a, a funeral home prior to the burial. Now, unfortunately, in the state of New Jersey, you are not allowed to scatter a loved one's ashes. So Battleship New Jersey cannot be the final resting place of your loved one. Uh, we cannot scatter any cremains from the ship. Um, we cannot bury your loved one at sea. You have to be out in international waters. We're just sitting here on the Delaware River. We, we cannot do that. If you would like to host a memorial service or uh, even viewings or funerals on board the ship, we have done all of those in the past. And uh, the battleship is a fitting place uh, for especially former service members to have uh, ceremonies like that. It, it's a meaningful place to do that. And th there's some contact information in the description below to our events person who can help you set up a ceremony like that if it interests you. What would you prefer to do with your earthly remains? Personally, I want to donate my body to science. Let us know in the comment section down below. Spoiler, this does not count as your will. You still have to write it down somewhere. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of businesses and private viewers like yourselves. If you would like to continue to support the museum, there's a link in the description for ways you can donate. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.